some time before that and, uh, and saw a, a demonstration and invited Martha Fumikoshi and a couple of other people, Ken Wanwin Bernie was also another one, and they, they went to Tokyo to do a demonstration. And it was enjoyed so much by so many people that uh, Master Finkishi was invited to stay on in Japan, on mainland Japan, and teach people more about karate. And he thought, well, this is pretty good. I, you know, I could actually uh, grow the interest in karate by staying in Tokyo and, and, and teaching many people, which he did. He gave it to universities and other things like that. So, in around the 1930s, uh, one of his students actually named, put a, put a plaque or, or, a, or a, um, a sort of a name board across the top of the train. Hall and, it, and, it, and it was Shoto Khan. Now, Master Shikoshi's pen name was Shoto, and uh, Khan is like a place for training hall. So, um, you know, it seemed obvious that it became Shoto Khan, the place where people trained in this style of karate. The name took off, and not long after that, in the 1940s, other names started to pop up, like Goju Ryu, Wada Ryu, Shito Ryu. Other style names started coming up at that time. And how does Shotokan differ to other types of karate? I mean, the stereotyping everybody's head is, is people chopping bricks with their hands and, you know, standing with their hands up at an angle at another person. Is that the way it works? Uh, look, yes, there's very little sort of brick breaking or board breaking in, in karate. Um, Shotokan karate is probably best described as being a very linear style. So it's got long, long deep stances. Um, and we generate a great deal of power through stepping quite long, um, stepping, turning, and into deep stances with blocks and punches and kicks and strikes and things like this, which make it very powerful. In contrast, the style like Goju Ryu, for instance, is much more circular side of it, and the, the mental preparation and the internal aspects of karate, the meditative um, aspects of it. Um, you know, we do a short meditation before and after class, even today. Um, you know, there's there's so much to it and it's all about self-improvement uh, it's all about trying to master the techniques and a lot of that can be really internal